There you go. We are Ooh. recording. Yay. <laughs> Let's see if our people are already. Somebody is awake or. Yeah. Is it posted? Can you see it now? I cannot see it, honestly. Did you do it public again or private or? Let me double check that part. <laughs> uh, let me it's record. there. Resume recording. Good morning. Good morning. Whoever is watching. There you go. We are on. We are on now. See ya. Sorry, messaging Josh. <laughs> That's me. See ya online. Or we can somebody can share it. Let me share it too on my on my post. Yep, my wife was like giving me a thumbs up, like you are well, you're live. So here you go, for those of you guys who have been waiting and like uh, what's the game plan for the next two Sundays at least, uh, let me, go, uh, good morning by the way, for, for all of you guys who are gonna be uh, tuning in later and or, or right now tuning in. So we just wanna give you some rationale of uh, why we do what we do. And I think I have it also on screen for, for us with the help of Miss Carey. Uh, the, the first thing is this is a, is a very healthy decision and also a helpful decision. Healthy decision because we have uh, brethren um, of, from our church that also had contracted uh, COVID and that's including me. So I just wanna be honest about it. Uh, don't worry, I'll be out by Monday. You need to be worried because I'm gonna be out by Monday. Uh, so that's the crazy thing about it. And so it's just wise thing for us to, to take some time to kind of rest. And uh, it, it's also helpful in the sense because uh, our county in Allen and I think some of Huntington already, uh, the spike of this virus has, has went up. And so it is very helpful for our community if we do not expose uh, our, our people or some of the people in our community with, with this kind of virus. So, so it's wise and loving way to do. Uh, so that's the reason why we are doing online service right now. And the second thing is, this is our dream. Um, a lot of uh, ages 18 to 29 years old, uh, we call them the Gen Zs and even the, uh, the millennials, we are losing them from the church. And the way they check on the church is via uh, the digital presence. And so if we can influence just one, uh, even for this video today, this is gonna be super, super cool, super, super awesome. So we want to maximize as a church, our digital presence, our cyberspace presence, so that we can reach the unreach, especially the young uh, generation. So this is the other rationale of why we do online church. And uh, the, the third rationale that I can see that uh, why we do what we do is because mm, principle-wise, we can be together wherever we are. That is the church, we be the church. So it is not just a certain local space, but it is every zip code where we are represented, wherever space where we are, we go uh, where the people are. So we have an opportunity to, to serve our families at this moment. In short, uh, I would say we are the portable church. Why? Because the spirit lives in us. And so we, we gather, whether in our PJs or whether with our, uh, with our pets, this would gonna be a wonderful time. And nothing can stop us uh, in gathering, okay? Even, even though we are not, physically in our uh, church location, uh, the Lord still uses whatever location we are located at this moment. So as we start, I wanna read to you guys a scripture uh, coming from Philippians chapter four, uh, verses six and seven. So if you have a Bible, uh, that would be so super cool. Get up your Bibles, uh, whether a physical one or in your Bible app. And uh, if not, we have it uh, provided on the screen. So. Here's Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7, and this is the word of the God says, Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him 
for all He has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. Let me just emphasize a little bit. His peace, God's peace, nobody else's peace, but God's peace will guard your hearts and mind as you live in Christ Jesus. I like that very strong uh, prepositions of preposition of in Jesus. If you live in Jesus, pretty much that's what he's saying, you, you will be guarded with his peace. So today, we'll, I'm just going to mute myself and uh, we're going to be uh, listening or participate in worshiping through music, and Miss Riley will be with us. So join us. There's a grace when the heart is undefined. Another way when the walls are closing in. And when I look at the space between where I used to be and this reckoning, I know I will never be alone. There was another in the fire standing next to me. There was another in the waters holding back the seas. And should I ever Prison walls cave in. 
Nothing stands between us. Nothing stands between them. I know that we're in the fire. Standing next to me, there'll be another in the waters. Holding back the seas. And should I ever need reminding how good you've been to me? I'll count joy from every battle. Cause I know that's where you'll be. There is another in the fire. There is another in the fire. Yahweh, we thank you so much for this time to gather together <laughs> through Zoom. <laughs> God, you can use any form of anything to bring yourself glory, and that is the, exactly the same thing that you're doing right now. And so we thank you um, for this opportunity to use the technology to gather together this morning, and we just give this, this time to you. Holy Spirit, would you just invade all of our spaces. Um, would you let yourself be known in our homes? And would you just bring us to a closer understanding of who you are and your vision for our lives, God? Um, we thank you so much and thank you for what you're gonna do today. It's in your precious name, Jesus, that we pray, amen. I love that, Riley, when you said, Holy Spirit, please invade our places. That this is the theme right now, guys, that you're seeing, and that is uh, our personal desire. And also that is our desire for you guys who are there. Um, I like this part. Good, good that you, uh, Kerry, uh, keep that one. I love this personally. I don't know what you love about the song, but I love this part really where it says, I'll count the joy. I'll count the joy come every battle because I know that that's where God will going to be. So, wow. So thank you. Thank you for that time. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know how to transition, honestly, <laughs> because I'm still soaking on this one. But for those of you who are watching, uh, feel free to comment. Feel free to, uh, even, even if you're going to watch later, uh, we'll try our best to comment back to you guys. And if you have questions, we'll try to answer us uh, as well. So today, uh, as we... This is going to be a unique service, as you know, guys. And next week, we're going to be a different setup also. So pretty much every Sunday, you don't know what to expect, but expect the presence and the power of the Lord and His Spirit. Um, but as to the methods of how we are going to do it, we are going to be, uh, we're going to be creative with that. And we're going to be presenting our excellent way of doing it as well as we honor God. So today... Um, I, I want to kind of introduce to you guys in a light way um, some of our new newest member of our team, and some of you already have met them, but let's just get to know them all the more. Uh, we have here Amy, we have Chelsea, and then uh, we have, so Amy is our ministry coordinator, so if you are looking to serve and have the passion to serve and the giftedness to serve, Amy is the person, say hi Amy, yeah, so yes, that's Amy, uh, so come to her. Uh, if you have passion to help to serve the children's ministry, and because this is a very, very important, uh, you know, the next gen is very important. They are taking our place. And so please coordinate with Chelsea. Say hi, Chelsea, to them. So that's Miss Chelsea. And then don't worry, children's ministry, we are going to come out with, with something that would be applicable and, and relevant for, for our children. So parents, uh, uh, heads up there and guardians. Uh, and then you just heard Riley uh, singing, uh, leading a song, um, and she is our worship and arts director. So if you are gifted in, in a form of music and instruments or even uh, video communication and audio uh, or even stage design, those kind of stuff, um, Riley would be the go-to person there. So, and then together with us is Attorney Mike, our, chill, uh, our youth director, and then Carrie. Uh, plays a lot of role for us, communication, and even the secretary for, for the church. So, and she does more other stuff. And so, guys, you are welcome. Um, and we are grateful to, to be here. 
we're going to start with some questions. And Amy, you can unmute yourself, Riley and uh, Chelsea. So, and Mike, Gary, if you have something to say, say it, okay? So, so, the, first, so the first thing that we're going to do is this. Uh, it's simple questions. Uh, you just say, um, so I'm going to give you options, and then you choose which one best fits for you. And with no explanation, okay? And so we're going to start with maybe the first one to answer would be, you know, Amy and then Chelsea and then, then Riley or whoever want to go first. It doesn't really matter. So here's the, here's the thing. It's a quick answer, okay? Quick answer, no explanation. Uh, so here's, here's a sample. Books or movies? Uh, movies. Chelsea? Okay, I cannot hear Chelsea. So what's your answer, Chelsea? There you go, try it again. Uh-oh, both she said, but I could not hear her, so she said both. <laughs> what happened to Chelsea? Chelsea's gone. <laughs> Chelsea's gone. <laughs> okay, I don't know what's happening. Oh, no. How raw and real we are, guys. So if you cannot hear us there, Chelsea, just do like one or two something. <laughs> So I don't know how to fix this issue right now, but enjoy our, our time together. Hey, okay, here's here's now for real, okay? Uh, okay. City or countryside? City or a countryside? Oh, oh, hmm. City. City. How about you, Amy? Yeah. I. I hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm taking up time. I, I've only got time. Uh, countryside. Okay, how about you, Chelsea? Okay, she's number two. Okay, next. <laughs> uh, this one is hard for me. Uh, Chick-fil-A or Popeye's chicken? Oh, Chick-fil-A because I've never had Popeye's. Okay. Same. <laughs> oh, what? All of them are Chick-fil-A. <laughs> My goodness. It's close on Sundays. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you have Netflix or Disney, but which one? Oh, I like both. You like both? I have to go with Disney. Disney. They, they took my favorite shows off Netflix. So. Oh, no. I only watch Startup in Netflix. But anyways, doesn't matter. For those who are watching from the Asia part, they would understand. But anyways, uh, Chelsea, one or two? Netflix or Disney? Oh, she's Netflix. It's it's so crazy that we were doing sign language. <laughs> and Amy, what did you choose, Disney or? Oh, I I would probably move towards Disney, but yes. So. Awesome. But. Okay, oh. here's here's one. We'll see which one is a um, crossword puzzle or Sudoku puzzle. Crossword puzzle or Sudoku puzzle. <laughs> no. Nobody's like uh I'm gonna do what's the second one? Uh Sudoku, like the number thingy. My wife loves doing it. <laughs> oh gotcha. Yeah, so, that's but I would probably do crossword. More of the words, yep. I love the words. I would do crossword. Oh we can hear Chelsea! <laughs> Okay, and then it's Riley. There you go, Riley. You're back. You're alive. <laughs> Can you guys hear me? <laughs> there you go. So she's... Are you yes, saluting? My phone is out. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> what else have been watching, guys? This is for real. <laughs> Some some of them might be eating Ooh. the cake and it was like what is happening to Riley? <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, We're the family members they uh, talk about at Thanksgiving and Christmas. Oh Mike, it reminds me of my notes saying <laughs> anyway, it's, it's you know, anyway. Okay. <laughs> Stop. Uh, pets pets are planned. <clears throat> Excuse me. Pets are what? Did you uh, say? I'm sorry. Uh, uh, pets are a plant. Oh, <laughs> oh, pets. Oh, pets. 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 I kill plants. Plant. Oh, yeah. I kill. Or plants? Oh, I could not hear Riley right now. <laughs> so, Ooh. So, I like, like pets. 
There's like a switch between Riley and Chelsea. Now I get to hear you, Riley. Well, anyways, we keep going. Oh, this one might be a little bit hard also because it's hard. Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks for breakfast or whatever? Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, Dunkin Donuts. we have Dunkin' Donuts there. <laughs> for you, Amy. Dunkin' Donuts. Dunkin' Donuts. How about you, Chelsea? Starbucks, definitely. Oh, <laughs> we have two Starbucks here, Mike and Chelsea. And so I'm, I'm both, so it's all right. Uh, how about, do you prefer lakes or river? Mm. Those are, I like both of them. So Thank we're going to be here. Oh. Both for Amy? I'm going to say both as well. Both as well. And how about you, Miss Riley? <laughs> I guess I've just been exposed to more lakes than rivers, so I'll just go with lakes. <laughs> There's a lot of, oh yeah, Carrie goes to, uh, where's that Carrie that you go for lakes and bread? Uh, uh, up in Minnesota, but it's not river. Oh, it's river, so it's better than the river we have. River. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, what do you guys prefer? Phone calls or text messages? Ooh. I probably do more texting than texting. calling. Mm -hmm. How about Miss Chelsea? Yeah. I'd say texting. Texting. How about you, Miss Riley? Yeah, so yeah I, texting. <laughs> so that is a heads up for you guys who are watching right now. Uh, shout out <laughs> for those who are watching, if there will be one or two of you watching. So if you want to get a hold of these people, texting is better. And if it is life or death, call, I guess. I'm just putting, yeah, I don't know. So what do you like? Um, snowing or raining? <laughs> We <laughs> won't have them. Man. Snow or rain? I love snow. Snow. Rain. Or, yep. Rain. Rain? Oh my goodness. <laughs> and how about you, Miss Riley? Yep. Rain also? Rain for sure. Oh, <laughs> yep. Snow is beautiful. We don't have that in the Philippines. Okay, here we go. This, these are both beautiful. <laughs> um, rainbows or shooting stars? Oh. Uh, that would be hard for me. Ooh. Ooh. Rainbows are pretty and shooting stars is majestic and magical. Yeah. So, but for you, Miss Amy, which, which one if just only one? Uh, well, I love both, but I, I go out like almost every night to look at the stars. Oh, yeah. So when they're out. So I love stars. So. Let's see if Chelsea would answer differently. I'm going to say... The star, shooting star as well. Shooting stars as well. How about Miss yeah. Riley? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Out on my end. <laughs> She's frozen. Yep. Yes. Can you see me now? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, just. Oh, you can hear me. Okay. Uh -huh. Um, um, probably a rainbow. Yeah. It's a hard. It's a hard choice. Like those are the two things that I like. Um, here's the thing, we're gonna, that's the easy level. The, the second level of my question is this. What is the, um, what, coming from, we, knew, we know the word has a power, right? The Bible has the power. And, and so I know that there are a lot of scripture or verses there that has touched your life. And honestly, in every season of your life, you are holding God's promises uh, for certain season of your life um, or stages of your life. So, but right now, or even, not even right now, for, for a long time, what would be that, that promise of God or a verse from the Bible that you've been holding on? Uh, some people call it like your uh, life verse, in a sense. Uh, and so, would you share that, guys, to us? Uh, we're going to start with Miss Amy, and then uh, Miss Chelsea will follow up, and then Riley will share as well. So, yeah, please do so. So there are a lot of verses, um, uh, of course, um, but the one um, that has been with me for many years, I'm just going to, I'm going to read it out of the NLT so I get that, but it's, um, it's in Psalm 63 um, verses uh, five through seven. Mm -hmm. And it says, I wait quietly before God mm -hmm. for my hope is in him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. Well, I will not be shaken. My salvation and my honor come from God alone. He is my refuge, a rock 
where no enemy can reach me. Wow. That's powerful. Thanks, Ms. Amy. I like the rock. Yeah. So can you say that again to the people? Uh, Psalm 63 verses? Yes, Psalm 63 verse 5 through 7. Okay, so for our people who are going to be, who are watching right now and are going to watch it later, Psalm 63, 5 to 7. So, yep, Miss Chelsea, how about you, ma'am? My favorite verse has always been Psalms 23. Mm -hmm. uh, just the way that um, it really promises that no matter what you're going through in life, mm -hmm. uh, he is our shepherd and he is always walking there beside us. Um, and he's helping us through the tough uh, trials that we might go through. That's awesome. Yep. I love Psalms 23 as well. Thank you, Miss Chelsea. How about you, Miss Riley? Yes. Um, so I can't, <laughs> this is cheating. I have two. Because um, <laughs> <laughs> right. um, I've never really had like a life mm -hmm. verse, but these two have um, specifically just kind of stuck with me the last couple years um, and I always just think about it. Um, the first one is Proverbs 16, um, 15, which says, when the king smiles, there's life. His favor refreshes like spring mm -hmm. rain. Um, and that's just kind of like a prompting of just like, okay, like when I do what God's called me to do and I'm doing um, things that he commands for us like he's pleased with that and mm -hmm. new life is being brought through that um, which is really powerful and then the second one um, is Philippians 4.8 um, whatever is true right noble pure lovely mm -hmm. if anything is excellent or praiseworthy think about such things um, that one's really good to say in the car when you have road raids <laughs> and <laughs> you know <laughs> You need to be keeping your thoughts pure there. <laughs> so, but yeah, those two are uh, ones that have stuck with me for a while now. Thank you. It's so cool, so cool that we started with Philippians earlier, chapter four, verse <laughs> seven, and then we continue yeah. chapter eight. And this is crazy because it's a prison epistle. Uh, he wrote it in the jail. Apostle Paul wrote it in his jail. My next question for you guys, maybe in, in, a, in a minute uh, minute duration of answering this. For those who are just coming in and watching right now, we, you know, we intendedly to plan to have it keep shortened, but, you know, just hang out with us, okay? And mm -hmm. I know the Lord has already have prepared something for this, and so we're just going to uh, enjoy the spontaneous way of, you know, his doing. Uh, my question next for you guys, for, for Amy, for Chelsea, and for Riley, and then maybe you can answer like, you know, straight, direct. Um, what made you say, I know Jesus in the spirit, you know, you know, tell you say yes, but what is the turning point for you to say, yes, I'm going to serve this local church. Yes, I'm going to serve alongside with uh, Tony Mike and with Teacher Carrie. So what, what is that? Like, what does it look like? You know, what, what's that tipping point? I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> Miss Amy. Um, in short, um, it was uh, a, a conversation uh, with Pastor Aldean and, a, um, and an affirmation from God. So, because, and, and it started with prayer mm -hmm. um, with, with a friend and just a little frustrated where I was um, and just, you know, speaking it out and uh, before long then um, before long then I get a call from Pastor Aldine we have this conversation and interview process and um, and I remember um, the day that I was coming in um, to church uh, to lead that day I remember waking up that morning mm -hmm. and um, saying I don't want to do this mm -hmm. this is not where um, I feel my spirit is and, and, and where God's leading me. And I'm not sure what that looks like because I'm like, Amy, you big ding dong, you're, you know, you're losing that chance to be in ministry, which is what you've always wanted. And, and, and I, I, you know, finished out that morning and afterwards, Pastor Aldean got with me and he said, hey, listen, um, want you here, but I don't see you doing this, like what I was doing that morning. 
I don't, I don't see you doing that. Mm -hmm. And I remember we both had our mask on and I, and he could not see my smile. That's going from ear to ear because I'm like going, and he goes, am I totally out of left field? Nope, let me tell you about my morning and <laughs> where I'm at. And from there, it was just a con continue, um, you know, conversation, uh, prayers, and um, yeah, and just this affirmation, like no other from God, so an answered prayer. So, and that's why I said yes. Thank you, Amy. So I lost, we lost Chelsea. She's having a hard time with the connection. So Riley, it's, it's you now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I really felt like God was um, calling me into like a growing season. And um, I was serving at my home church and, you know, having a blast, making new friendships and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, Pastor Aldine reached out to me about this position. And it's, it was just kind of like my world stopped for a second. And, um, you know, after praying about it and visiting um, and talking with my friends, it really seemed like that this was a place I could grow. Um, I... I kind of had um, the same thought of like, oh, what am I doing? <laughs> you know, um, only in a different way. I just was like, no, I, I, I don't think I can do this. Um, and God was just like, you know, trust me, like, will you take that leap of faith with me? And I was just like, okay. <laughs> I was like, yeah, we'll do this. And um, after, you know, accepting this position and everything it's just been really clear that god has called me into this and so um so yeah that's that's why i'm here <laughs> thank you riley thank you mm -hmm. um miss chelsea's back so yes miss back okay <laughs> well, for you ma'am what what's the turning point for you to say yes and serve alongside with with these awesome people yeah i think it was really um a conversation that i had between um my district board of ministerial development through the Wesleyan denomination, um, we had a long sit down conversation on the phone and I was asking him because I'm in the process of being ordained. Um, and I know there's certain like rules and regulations you have to follow. Uh, and with this church not being Wesleyan, um, I wasn't sure how that would affect like the ordination process. And he basically sat me down and he's like, um, in the long run, it doesn't matter when you get your ordination, it's the experience that gets you there that matters. And so I think that was really the turning point for me that was like, yeah, I really can say yes to this because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, it's gonna be a wonderful experience that's gonna help me grow. And it could turn into a long-term situation that, um, I really enjoy doing. And I think that really has um, proven to me the past couple of weeks being on this team and everything, just the way that uh, this church has just poured into me and helped me through this last semester, especially of school, um, has just really been more of an affirmation that this is really where I'm supposed to be. Um, so yeah. Thank you, Chelsea. I think for all of us and maybe Carrie and Mike can testify with this, this is really a journey and a step of faith. Um, so that's one thing in common for all of us. We don't know, honestly, what we are doing, but we come to God for guidance. So yeah, that's why we call our team Startup Team in a sense, because we want to start with God um, and trust Him with all this process. Um, so yeah, we are going to be transitioning to uh, another Worship Crew song. And let me read to you guys what it says in Colossians, another uh, prison epistle written by Apostle Paul, uh, Colossians chapter 4. We also have it in screen available for you guys, or you can highlight your Bible as well. It says in Colossians 4, verses 2 and 3, let me read to you, devote yourselves to prayer with an alert mind and a thankful heart. Pray also for us, pray for us too. Paul was like, for us who are serving that God will give us many opportunities to speak about the mysterious plan concerning Jesus Christ. So please, those of you who are watching right now, please pray for this team as well. The open doors 
will gonna be just like this right now. Once you share it, you guys who are watching, you are the digital missionary. If you share this later on, and there would be one person who are looking at this and that particular verse hit that person, man, you have done what God is asking you to do. So later on, share this, comment, and, and that is an open door opportunity. So, but pray for us as well. Because we, we might be seemingly limited, but God is not. So that's a good thing about it. So I'm going to mute again myself and let's um, worship through singing. In this song, we're going to be singing about the goodness of God, um, which I don't know for anyone else, but is a really great reminder to me, especially in just the middle of everything that we've been going through. So join me in worshiping God. <laughs> You, Lord, oh, your mercy never fails me. All my days I've been held in your hands. From the moment that I wake up until I lay in my head, I will sing of the goodness of God. All my life, you have been faithful. All my life, you have been so, so kind. With every breath that I am able, I will sing of the goodness of God. I love your voice. You have led me through the fire in darkest night. You are close like no other. I've known you as a father. I've known you as a friend. And I have lived in the goodness of God. Because all my life you have been faithful. All my life you have been so, so kind With every breath that I am able I will sing of the goodness of God Yes, all my life you have been faithful All my life you have been so so kind with every breath that I am able, I will sing of the goodness of God. Your goodness is running after, it's running after me. Your goodness is running after, it's running after nothing me with my life laid down and surrendered now i give you everything your goodness is running after it's running after me your goodness is running after it's running after me your goodness is running after it's running after me with my life laid down and surrendered now i give you everything your goodness is running after. Say one more time. Your goodness is running after. It's running after me. Your goodness is running after. It's running after me. With my life laid down and surrendered, now I give you everything. Your goodness is running after. It's running after me. Goodness of God, I will sing 
the goodness of God. All my life you have been faithful. All my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, I will say of the goodness of God. I will say of goodness of God. So that song was going to make you a little bit sentimental. I'm looking at my window. And I can see the, the trees and the snow. <laughs> and it reminds me of God's faithfulness. <clears throat> Thank you. Um, so for those of you who are watching right now, you can be on your PJs. Maybe you are eating your donuts right now or have your coffee right now and having your comfort um, you know, blankets or whatever you call it. Um, last week, it was a... You know, Amy and Mike were rock stars um, in a good sense, okay? Uh, we, we were so thankful. Uh, they have told you guys at 11 uh, p.m. we were been praying because, you know, there's a lot of changes that was happening on a Saturday night. And then Mike and Amy step up to the plate. And guys, I'm really, really proud about them in, in a good way. Um, the Lord has used them mightily and powerfully. Um, today, um, they will going to be joining us. You can unmute yourself, guys. Um, because for the whole month, we are talking about the sermon series, Entrusted. It is a holistic view of stewardship. And uh, Amy started the preaching, and then I followed, but I changed what I'm supposed to be preaching. And then Mike preached to us last uh, uh, Sunday. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to ask them some questions, kind of review, and kind of... Um, um, in a sense, for those of you guys who have missed the videos or missed the church, this would be a, a wonderful opportunity to kind of get back to that. Uh, let's start with uh, Amy. Amy, um, you're still muted. So can you please tell me first, my first question, tell, tell the people who are watching right now, uh, what's the, the main proposition of your, of your message that you have delivered when you preach, guys? So I had the privilege of talking about like the stewarding relationships and how we do that well and, and what does that look like? So that, that's where I went. Do you want me to go into more of that then? Uh -huh. Pastor Aldine, just go with that. Okay. Yes, so, um, and so what we did in a nutshell is just saying, um, what, you know, we started in Matthew 22 and we read 34 to 40, which basically was the Sadducees just, you know, um, trying to test Jesus and just saying, hey, what is the greatest law? What, what is that? Um, and they were just, of course, trying to get him in trouble. But it says, you, you know, basically what it was is, is um, you know, love God first and, and then others. And, and it said, and yourself, because that was there as well. And, and so we took it from there um, and it's love God with all your heart, soul, mind, strength was the other thing. So that encapsules all of that there. So we broke that down into what does that look like? And that looks like first and foremost, you have to love God. Mm. Yet you can't love others and yourself well if you're not loving him first. And, and that's, I mean, as simple as it gets. Mm -hmm. And it's, um, you know, and how do we look at that, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's basically, you know, that it, 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 it's basically, you know, giving the time, mm -hmm. um, it, it, you, you, have to, you have to do that. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a true believer that Satan uses uh, uh, busyness mm -hmm. so that you don't have time. Mm -hmm. You don't have time. You, you got to make it, you have to be intentional. So, and in any relationship, it's, it, you have to be intentional mm. at times you, 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 you need to be intentional. And so, um, that's kind of how it looked, um, you know, as far as that him first, uh, because it even says that, um, you know, in first John four, it says ultimately loving others mm -hmm. is born out of God's love for us. Mm. So when we're spending that time with him, 
um, then we can love others yes. more freely. <laughs> and then, um, and then not only that, but we're getting that love right from mm -hmm. him. He's pouring yes. into us and then we can call ourselves worthy mm -hmm. and we can love ourselves. Mm. You know, we can love ourselves. And um, I, I know that sometimes that self-love seems selfish. It, it's just not. It's completely the opposite. Mm -hmm. um, believing we are worthy of love. Believing um, that um, we belong to him. Um, that we're his child. Mm -hmm. um, and we're the child of King. You know, so it, it, that's basically uh, was what it was all about in relationships. Yeah. Uh, is love. Mm. It, it's, it's, it's plain and simple. It's love. I think and, I'm going to uh, have a t-shirt that says, uh, just like what you said, him first. <laughs> Thank you, Amy. Uh, I'm going to get back to you with another question. Um, uh, uh, Attorney Mike, please tell us uh, what's the, you know, the G's or the bottom line of your message last Sunday, sir. Excellent. Well, it's so awesome. So we actually missed the service that uh, Amy uh, preached at. And uh, it's funny because she's talking about relationships and, and using that time and how mm -hmm. Satan uses busyness. That's yeah. pretty much exactly what I talked about. I talked about how mm -hmm. uh, uh, we talked about Jesus raising Lazarus and how at first it looked like he was wasting time. Like Jesus was late, like he missed it. You know, he wasn't able to do what he wanted to do. But the reality was that by waiting, God was revealed in a bigger way. And we talked about time and we talked about the four letters of time, T-I-M-E. And we talked about how Jesus had a plan. He had a purpose for his, his wasting of time. He had, he thought, and then he invested, he was investing in his disciples who weren't really getting the message of who Jesus was. They kind of still were like, Oh yeah, you know, we don't, we know you're cool, but we don't know how great you really are. So Jesus said, well, I tell you what, if I raise somebody from the dead, there won't be any question. You can't, ex we talk about how you can't explain that away. Mm -hmm. Can't say, you know, with the flu, you got a flu shot. Maybe there'll be a vaccine coming up in a couple of months and we'll have a vaccine. And then, then we can explain all this stuff away with science. But when you're dead and then you're not dead, there's no explanation except for Jesus. So we talk about how Jesus, he waited for that purpose. He was in, and he did that so that he could invest in the disciples and grow them along with Martha and Mary. We talked about M being magnified how by by his miracle being bigger it it shined a bigger light on god, on who god is and how mm -hmm. powerful god is and we talked about how you know when we when we magnify something we don't we don't make it bigger than it appears mm -hmm. we actually bring the image closer to us yeah. so we're bringing god closer to others so we talked mm -hmm. about that and then it, the e is exalt we talked about how we want to we want to raise god up over the top of whatever is going on amen yeah so to bring that into the the pandemic and where we're at in our world right now mm -hmm. we talked about how um you know we're 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 trapped at home we have all this time and mm -hmm. you know for the first few months of the pandemic i i had all these ideas that I, all these things i was going to yeah. do you know i'm going to read this and read that and then i found myself watching you know disney plus for 3 months straight well We've got this time, but we fill it with stuff. And then we become, like you, like Amy said, we become so busy that we just kind of let the devil get a grip on us. And it's not a sin to watch Disney, but it certainly isn't mm -hmm. exalting to the Lord and magnifying and investing in people. And so what I challenge people to do in this lockdown or whatever's happening in the next six weeks is I really challenge people mm -hmm. to think and invest and magnify and, and exalt somebody else, you know, mm -hmm. I want you to read, I gave the challenge to go pray, ask somebody if you could pray for them and then show up in their life throughout the couple of weeks, you know, just mm -hmm. double check on them, call them on the phone, text them. If you're, if you're mm -hmm. not afraid to go hang out with them and they're not afraid or you're, maybe you're in the same household, go see them or sit six feet apart from them or whatever, but pray for them. And then, you know, magnify God by telling mm -hmm. them, Hey, I'm praying for you. Is there anything I can pray? God wants me to reach out to you. He wants you to walk alongside you. And then at the end of all that, exalt him together and say, I've been praying for you every day, you know, and I don't, I don't know if you're feeling better or what, but God has one. He wants me to show up in you. Not, not I'm praying for you because I can heal you, but God's praying, wants me to pray for you so that he can heal you. And so that's kind of what I think we've got all this time mm. and whatever, whatever you choose to do with it. Spend it investing in somebody, growing yeah. your relationship with Jesus, growing their relationship mm. with Jesus by showing how miraculous God is. So yes. that, that was kind of the gist of my message. Mm -hmm. It's powerful. I love it. Uh, Amy, do you have anything to add as to 
Mike's sermon or or your sermon three weeks ago, that would be cool to 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 add. Yeah, I mean, when we were talking, he was talking about pandemic. Yeah, uh, you know, it really. Yeah, we we really do um, feed off of each other in, in that sense, mm-hmm. and what he had spoke and and what I had spoken, mm-hmm. and it is that whole time aspect. And and here, listen, in the pandemic, it's mm-hmm. just um, like you know, like the saying is, we have mm-hmm. we we have that time, right? I know a lot of people, you know, talk about going back to work, and now things are shutting down again. Mm-hmm. Listen, we have to be intentional. Yes, so right. it is something that we have got to, um, you know, know um, we have to be intentional of, of, of reaching out to them. How does that look? Uh, we were talking today, you know, you were asking those questions to Chelsea and Riley and I, mm-hmm. it's like, you know, call, you know, we, we still mm-hmm. have a phone, um, yeah. we can text. Mm-hmm. Um, we have more social media now than we ever have. Mm-hmm. I mean, so, you know, tweet, go, you know, I mean, do whatever, but put something out there mm-hmm. um, that is God honoring um, and, and, and shows that you love him and you love others and, and, and just what that looks like. Um, mm-hmm. So there are so many ways that we can be doing that just because there's a pandemic, mm-hmm. nothing's changed. Mm. nothing has changed god is still god yes. we are his children and mm. we are to be spreading his word yes. we we are to be exalting him like mike said and in, in, in all that those ways there's mm. no excuse there's just no excuse we can come up with some i know i can mm. but it's like you know we, we there is none there's absolutely none we have more at our fingertips now than mm. we ever have and yeah. and and to spread that gospel I mean, we're right here on Zoom. We could have, I mean, can you imagine? I mean, this wouldn't have happened how many years ago, you know, when we didn't have it. So it's like, we'd be like, oh, we're in the dark. So sorry, can't can't show up. Can't. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. And even if we were, let's just see even Zoom wasn't here. Mm. Okay. Hey, we can still meet with one another. I mean, that's like, hey, are you guys COVID free? You bet. Great. Okay, come on over. Mm-hmm. I mean, bring it in. Yes. I mean, it's like meet with these people, mm-hmm. you know, meet with your, your, your family, your friends, whatever, mm-hmm. as I said before, and even in the, in the sermon, I said, you know, in aisle eight in Walmart, I mean, I don't care where it's at. God can do that. Yes. God can do that. Mm-hmm. We sometimes don't think that's how it's supposed to look, mm-hmm. but by golly, he sure does. I mm-hmm. mean, he'll, he, you know, you just keep your head on a swivel and he'll show you. Mm-hmm. So it's like, you know, but it, it is. And, and like Mike said, you know, that time, which I just loved yes. all of that. Um, but we have all the time in the world to exalt him. And uh, yeah. There's an old saying it. that says um, love is spelled as T-I-M-E. Love is spelled as mm-hmm. T-I-M-E, which is time. And so maybe the question we can throw to them is if, if love is spelled as time, how much time do we spend with God and how much time do we spend with others? Because that is equivalent to mm-hmm. how you love them. Mike, any uh, final say to our people uh, before we go to our challenges? Just that, uh, you know, as Amy was saying, I mean, we talk about why things happen when they do. I mean, if, if this would have happened, I mean, Zoom is only a couple of years old. I mean, iPhones are only a couple of years old. Mm-hmm. I mean, we, if this would have happened five, 10 years ago, it'd be, it'd be darkness, right? It'd be darkness. And uh, I just think that God has, has given the world a way to continue to reach out and minister amongst these kinds of, I mean, again, I, what I think is Zoom might only be a year old. I think it's a brand new company. So when I mean, you're talking about, you know, not being able to, you know, five years ago, that's not that long ago, but we'd have, we'd have, we had nothing to do. We'd have been lost you know so this is just that god has, has continued to give us a way um you know just like the scripture that says god only puts us what we can bear and always gives us away you know and i think that's just important to know that there's we can still communicate we can still love jesus together so that's it <laughs> thank you Tony mike thank you amy um so we kind of promised to you guys that every week we have challenges for our people and for those who are watching this and so i'm going to be 
and asking Chelsea to read the challenge for the uh, children and then attorney Mike to read the challenge for, for the teens. And I'm gonna ask Amy to read the challenge for, for the adults. Uh, by the way, thank you, Carrie, for being the, the host for, for this. Uh, we don't know what to do, but you're super, super helpful doing all of these slides and you know, just making sure that it is happening. So here are the challenges for this coming week. And we and they are gonna be reading it for you guys. And you can see it also on your screen. Go ahead, Miss Chelsea. Yeah. So as we are entering in this week of Thanksgiving, um, we want to challenge you guys, uh, your children, to create a 30 second to one minute video saying what you are thankful for. Um, and then we ask that the parents send that to either the Sunrise Facebook Messenger or email that to the Sunrise Church 2020 at gmail.com. Thank you. Awesome. So for the youth and teens, this is what we're challenging you to do. Um, you can do one of these or both of these. Um, tell your parents, teacher, or friend why you're thankful for them this week. So I don't know if your schools are shut down or, or what or what's going on, but, um, but just take a moment to either a friend, teacher, or your parent and just pull them aside and, and don't just tell them, hey, I'm thankful that you pay for my stuff, okay? I want you to pull them aside and have a real conversation with them and let them know, you know, hey, I just want you to know that I'm thankful that you've done this in my life. Not, don't cop out teens, okay? Don't give up on me and just say, I think my 12 year old would say, oh, I'm, gra I'm glad you bought me an iPad or something. That's, that doesn't count. Uh, and then the number two is I want you to show them, show them that you're thankful by, by giving an act of kindness to them. Uh, maybe you start the conversation off by saying, you know, hey, I'm gonna make dinner tonight or uh, I'm gonna make you toast for breakfast or something. And then when you give it to your parent, just say, Hey, I just, I wanted to show you that I'm thankful that you make me breakfast every day or that you get me ready for school. So I got your coat ready or I got your coffee made, whatever that is. Mostly I'm just saying that so that Zoe makes me coffee in the morning, but, but that's my challenge for you guys. Okay. Uh, just do a little bit of an act of kindness and show your thankfulness. Thank you, sir, Mike. And Miss Amy, can you read for us or for the adults? Yes. And by the way, I'm just sitting here listening to all this, which is just awesome because we were talking about um, being good stewards in relationships and, and what does that look like and showing God's love and love to mm -hmm. others. And I just think this is awesome. And, and, and these are opportunities, y'all, these are opportunities. And so for the adults, we're asking that you message five to seven people um, and let them know how thankful you are for them, uh, how, what they mean to you. Um, and you can do that via email, card, call, text, or in person, um, or other creative ways uh, you can think of. And, and so that's what we're, our challenge is, is five to seven people and let them know and let them know how thankful. Show that love. Thank you, Miss Amy. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you, Chelsea and Riley. And thank you for those who have been um, with us today. Um, don't forget to share this or even to, if you have some questions that you wanna ask us, we can answer it uh, as we uh, replay this uh, video later on. So guys, next week, same time, it might be a different setup. It might not be a Zoom looking like this, so, but please uh, look towards our um, Facebook page and we are going to have a YouTube page as well. And then we also have that QR code so that you can let us know that you are with us. It's also that QR code that you can also give via online and on that QR code also there uh, you can yes it's there the QR, QR code also will help you to put your prayer requests uh, and so those are the ways that we can uh, utilize our media so thank you guys for tuning in we are going to pray and then we'll see you when we see you guys let us pray our heavenly father thank you so much for this time thank you for just your faithfulness Thank you that we can honor you, that we can lift your name high, no matter the season of our lives. And as we temporarily dismiss online, I pray for your continuous presence and comfort to be with our people, especially for those who have been hurting and in pain and in sickness. I pray that you would cover them as well. Thank you for everything that you have done and about to do. We love you, Lord. We praise you. We thank you. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. For my team, I was going to be stop live streaming, but please stay a little bit. Peace out.